A decades-old policy allowing Arkansans to choose a gender-neutral status on their driver's license is no more. The Arkansas Department of Finance and Administration, with Governor Sanders backing, announced that policy change today. Channel 7's Brenda Lipinski is on your side, live in our studio. And Brenda, I know you spoke with someone today who this will impact. Yes, and she says she's very upset, saying this is pointless and it's all part of a culture war. A new driver's license policy from the Arkansas Department of Finance and Administration says the gender listed on a person's license must match what's on their birth certificate. I don't know why they feel the need to legislate that. Lake Smith changed her gender back in 2020 and says this policy change isn't a good thing. It's essentially life or death, really, because, I mean, like, if you have all your information there and that's who you are, that's your life, and they take that away. They're taking away your identity and everything about you that you believe as yourself and you know as yourself, so it's trying to strip your identity away. The new policy also eliminates the right of Arkansans to choose X in lieu of a gender. DFA Secretary Jim Hudson says the previous policy is not supported by Arkansas law, saying in part, quote, this change announced today reflects a common sense approach that ensures a license or ID issued by the state of Arkansas is based on objective, verifiable information, end quote. Governor Sanders also calling this change common sense, writing, quote, only women give birth, men shouldn't play women's sports, and there are only two genders. As long as I'm governor, Arkansas state government will not endorse nonsense, end quote. Marie Maynard O'Connell is a pastor and mother of a transgender child. I wanted my fellow Arkansans, trans and non-binary people, to know that they are seen, that they will not be erased, and that people of good conscience, even a couple Christians, are going to stand up and say, this is wrong and it's unkind. I'm really concerned that Arkansas is becoming the naturally unkind state. As for Smith, she doesn't know if she'll even renew her license when the time comes, and she has a message to the state. We're not going away uh, anytime soon, so, you know, you can try to legislate us out, but we'll be here after you, so, yeah. Now, according to DFA, out of the 2 million active driver's licenses in the state, over 330 have the X designation. On your side, I'm Brenda Lipinski. Okay, Brenda, thank you. Any current licenses or IDs with that X designation will remain valid through their expiration date.